Thank you so much for being here on this uh, lovely rainy Saturday to celebrate all of our wonderful young Hmong graduates going off into the world to change it and make it better for all of us. It's my honor to be here representing everybody in the Office of Family Engagement, and I'd like to echo the thanks that you gave to uh, the HPAC members and staff who worked so hard to have such a celebration for you today. Will you join me one more time, please? If I could, I'd like to invite uh, our board members to join me on the stage, as well as our senior administrative representative, Chief Cedric Baker, to join me up here. Come on, friends. All right. It's my pleasure to introduce our uh, members of the, board of, or of the Board of Representatives, that's what I was going to call you, the school board. Uh, I have what are you, clerk, right? Jeanelle Foster. I have Marnie Treasurer. Treasurer Marnie Shong. I'm needing to check my memory of everybody's seats. Our vice chair, Steve Marchese. And board member John Schumacher, here from the Board of Education as well as Chief of Staff Cedric Baker here on the stage. Thank you so much for being here. Good afternoon, everybody. Again, I'm Steve Marchese. I'm the Vice Chair of the St. Paul School Board, and I just want to uh, welcome you to this ceremony as a board member. This is one of the more fun things that we get to do, which is to celebrate the accomplishments of our students and to raise up the good work and all of the wonderful things that you've done in this culmination of your time with us at St. Paul Public Schools. Um, on behalf of the board, I want to congratulate you for your time with our district, but also the accomplishment of making it to this moment where you will be graduating. Uh, we are always excited to see the energy and the excitement of your work and, and the future that you bring to the city. Um, we want to remind you how much we really care about your future experiences as alumni of St. Paul Public Schools to stay in touch with us, stay in touch with your schools, stay in touch with your teachers so that they can continue to hear from you. Um, obviously, you have a community that is supporting you. Uh, we celebrate that work and we celebrate the opportunities that it'll bring to build the city and the community that we care so much about. So congratulations on your next accomplishments and congratulations to making it to this point. So thank you and have a good afternoon. We are high ก็ลูกค้าอีกกว่าลูกมองวิหัตเตียเป้หมายจะเพื่อนเสียหัวหน้าตัวเจ้าเนี่ยอยากจะต่อต้านกูให้ลูกอังกฤษต่อตาเถ
And so let's give a warm hand of applause to welcome our Judge Adam Yang to the stage. Okay, so just want to make sure that I've been speaking and most of you have heard what I've been saying, right? I should repeat the speech again, should I? <laughs> uh, so, as I said, the bigger the dream, the bigger the lighthouse, the bigger the beam of light, the better it will lead you to a successful future. For me, as Maya has indicated, my dream was to be a, an astronaut. I went to the University of Minnesota to be an astronaut. I enrolled in the Air Force ROTC, and I majored in aerospace engineering and mechanic. The second, the second principle is this. As you travel to the future, be willing to change. You need to be flexible and be adaptable to the ever-changing path towards your dream. Life is filled with obstacles, curves, and turns. The, this lighthouse will shine its light to you, for you, to guide you to the shore. But along the way, there are rocks rough waters, and whatever else Mother Nature will throw at you. Be ready and willing to make turns to overcome these hurdles. You should be willing to make changes and adapt to reach your dream. These changes may include choosing a different college, changing your major, or simply realizing that your initial dream may not be what you first thought. This may include changing your dream because of the impossibilities. But this does not mean that you stop dreaming or that you stop pursuing your dream. If you just stop in the water, you will sink. Continue with your desire to be someone great or do something great. When you realize, when I realized that I could not be an astronaut due to a physical disability and the difficulty of getting there, I chose to change my path to be a lawyer. And I continued on with my dream to do great things, to be someone. The third principle is that you need to be, and you need to have realistic expectations. You need to understand your capabilities and skills. Knowing your limits allows you to have real expectations. As I said earlier, dream of who you want to be and what you want to do. And don't ever forget that. As you grow and work towards this dream, even with your willingness to change and flexibility, your expectation may not be what it seems. However, you can always do something or be someone of equal or greater than your initial desire. So don't lose hope. Don't ever lose hope when you realize that what you want is not within reach. Having real expectations means that understand that you understand what is possible and what is not. It is the dream of doing something great, or being someone great, that drives you to have a great future. When you aim for something great and pursue that greatness, even if you may not reach the same result, you will achieve different, a different result that is greater or of equal value. When you aim to land your ship on the shore on this foggy day, you may end up at a different section of the shore. But the point is that you followed the lighthouse and you made it. You arrived. You reached your dream 
And for some of you, you will even reach something that's greater. In my case, I realized that I could not be an astronaut, and so I changed my career to be a lawyer. And now a judge, which, in my opinion, is as great as an astronaut, or even better. I have reached my dream to be someone. I want the same for every one of you seniors in this auditorium. Graduates, congratulations. You have come so far to this point. But don't forget, I want you all to dream. Dream big. Be willing to change. Be flexible. Be adaptable. And lastly, have real expectations. You will achieve your dream, or you will even achieve, achieve something that is greater than what you initially dreamed about. So don't be afraid. Dream big. Congratulations. And we'll see each other again. Thank you, Adam, for a great message to all the students and to myself, because I don't think I had a dream until today. I guess my dream is just to become a mom, and I'm a mom of four. <laughs> but as I was getting ready to come here today, I was being reminded by my daughter, who is third year in college, just, just finished um, her third year in college. I, I was just being reminded by her that education is a privilege and today I'm using her line on you guys because like Adam said you have to have a dream and your dream starts today okay my next guest speaker I'm honored to introduce her her name is C Pa can I have you to the stage C I'm short, so I want to make sure that you can hear me. <laughs> Hello and good afternoon. Um, I'm going to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about me and why I'm up here and why some of your, your children or your child will be honored t tonight with the award that I will be presenting to them. My name is Si Pa Va. I am a TOSA, and then that's an acronym for Teachers on Special Assignment. This year, I also have the privilege to be the SEALS uh, coordinator for St. Paul Public Schools. So let me get a uh, raise of hand. How many of you as parents have heard of the SEALS? Okay, wow. I, uh, and what about the students? How many of you heard of the SEALS? Okay, so good. I'm glad to see some hands. So that is why I'm here to really share the information with you about what the Seals of Biliteracy is for you and to really talk about how important it is for um, the, why your children receive the recipient that they, uh, reward that they are getting today and the importance of this bilingual Seals. The bilingual seal, uh, a seals of biliteracy is a result of a 2015 state legislature, uh, Minnesota state legislature. But originally, it really originated, started from the state of California. And it's asking that law said, we want to recognize all languages as an asset. We want to uh, not just the world language, but all languages. So today, I'm presenting to you to 
the award for your children who are proficient in the language of Hmong. Is that wonderful? In addition to that, I will share with you a little bit. Minnesota is one of the two states out of the 38 states who value and it's acknowledged uh, for the SEALs that award college credits. That is also awesome. It means a lot to your child who is going on to college. It means a lot to you who will be saving money. So the skills of biliteracy is a language proficiency. It's not a performance. It's not a pass or the field assessment. It is an assessment recognized by the American Council of Teaching and Foreign Language. In Minnesota, we have 13 languages in St. Paul Public Schools that are being recognized as of today. The languages that are world language are offered by assessment through the Apple assessment. Those are like the German, French, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, and so the world languages. However, Minnesota is very progressive in this uh, assessment. So we have some homegrown assessment that are for the less common languages, like Hmong, Karen, Somali, Tamali, Vietnamese, Dakota, Lakota, and Ojibwe. So these are the assessments that we have in our state of Minnesota. There's no other states who have these test assessments letting you know. So we are very proud to be in Minnesota to have this assessment uh, value in our state and giving to our students. So there are three levels of language proficiencies they are the platinum, which is the highest. Your child can earn up to four semester college credits. In some of the college's credits, you can up to 18 to 20 credits. That is about a semester to us, in some of them, two semester worth. And then the second level is the gold, which is three semester college credits. And the, the third one is the certificates, which is the second, uh, it's two semester credit, uh, credits. These credits, by law, in the state of Minnesota, they are the, the Minnesota University and Colleges, the MinSCU, they are expect to accept the SEALs. Right now, I also know that there are some private colleges like Oxford and St. Kate. Or Oxford is already accepting and St. Kate is also working on accepting the SEALs. So uh, graduates, this is a wonderful opportunity for you and I want to uh, encourage you to maintain your languages. So I'm gonna share like, a short story about myself before I uh, give the word. I remember when I was in high school and part of my requirement for graduation was you have to take a foreign language. So I met with my counselors and she said, well, in, in order for you to graduate, you have to take a foreign language. And I said, why should I? I already speak Hmong, I'm already proficient in. And she said, well, it's not one of the required language. So today, I want to tell you that in St. Paul Public Schools, we have Hmong language as one of the language that you can take to fulfill that requirement if you shall need to. That's because in St. Paul Public Schools, we have the Hmong Dual Immersion Program that we are teaching Hmong at St. Paul Public School. And we are very grateful for St. Paul Public School to really appreciate 
that we have this program here. So I am proud to say, maintain your language. What I want to uh, do next is present the award to these students, these students who either earn a platinum, a gold, or a certificate. If I call your name, please come up here and receive this award. I want to let you know this is a duplicate, a copy of the certificates or the award that you are earning. The real one that you are earning will be at your uh, honors night or at your graduation, okay? And it will literally have the seals. So I don't have the seals on here. This is just a copy. But I do want to acknowledge you for the language that you are proficient in, okay? So if you are here, please come up here and accept the award and just stand up here so we can give you a hand of applause at the very end. Okay, Bao Ta. So if you, okay. Su Ta. Laoma, if you are here, please come. Go me, Shang Xiong. Sha Xiong. Ya Gu Xiong. My seal is my shang ya. My seal. Shang lo. Lo sang lo. Badi mua. Hua ji mua. Pani Ta Hillary Va Jua Vu Go Zhong Xiong Ba'ieli. Alice Va. Alice. Alice Lee. Layla Lee. Nola Lee. Ken Lee Lee, Mai Lee Lo, Sashana Lo, Jia Mo. Bi Ta. Yea Ta. Hoa Tung Fai Va. Va. Nye Va. Ka Yeng Va. Ka Vu. Kajua, Kajong, Ya. King Ya. Tia Casey Ya. These are the students who have to um, take the uh, CEO's assessment. 
They are four modalities that they must be proficient in. They must be proficient in reading Hmong, writing Hmong, speaking Hmong, and understanding the listening of the Hmong. So here are your future Hmong speakers. While they're getting their pictures done, I just wanted to remind the seniors that as I call each school, I also want the school representative to come up on stage to recognize your accomplishment today. And then I also want the seniors to come on my right, on the stage to my right or to your left as you walk off the stage uh, to your right for your certificates, okay? So, we start here, and we will end on the other end of the stage. All right. So, we are gonna start the ceremony right now, and I'm just waiting for Heather and the board members. So I'm going to call each school at a time. Okay. Go ahead, Ilu School, Jo Jo. Now, okay, it's a go ahead. Ilu School, Ne No, Ne Ne Lo. Now, the go Shana, a Mone, a Dai, um, the name card to go na. It go Malay to Ne Lo Bay, Ne Malay Mut Zai, Ne Dai Certificate. Tell the board member, Tana. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with Agapi High School. And may I please have Councillor Mary Gannon up on the stage to help recognize your students. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm gonna announce Christine Tao from Agape High School. Next, I like to call Gateway High School. Do we have any Gateway High School students here? Okay. We're going to move on to Central High School. I'd like to invite Principal Mary McBee up on the stage to help recognize and support your students. Lila Hyung, Gaosheng Vang, Sapphire Moa, Mai Shua Vang, Gaomi Sang Hyung, Gao Gu Hyung, Lucky Vang, and Cindy Hyung. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, I'd like to invite Como Park Senior High School, Assistant Principal Yulid Yang to the stage to also help recognize and support your students. Como Park Senior High School, we have one. <laughs> ja Ong Moa, congratulations. <laughs> Next, I'd like to invite Creative Arts High School. Creative Arts High School. How about Gordon Parks High School? Counselor Patrick Herr, up on the stage to help recognize and support your student.
First, we have Joshua Vang. Long Vang. Haley Vang. Devin Vang. So many Vang. Congratulations. I'm also a Vang. <laughs> Harding High School. Assistant Principal Lee Tao, also here to help support and recognize your student as well. Thank you. Sheely Vang. Sandy Bang. Hillary Vang. Hyung Vang. Rico sang her. Zhuo Vu. Nye Vang. Selinta Xiong. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> Kong Tao. Oh, Kang Tao. I'm so sorry. Alice Lee. Katrina Hang. Angelique Lore. Gao Zhong Xiong. Chida Hang. Bao Tao. Su Connor Moa. Chia Yang. Sang Lore. Alexander Vu, <laughs> Fuji Xiong. <laughs> Next, let's welcome Highland Park High School students and their representative, Carrie Donlin. <laughs> Bao Xiong. Jennifer Tao, Raymond Tao, Vanita Her, Crystal Tao, next let's have Humboldt High School. Tang Sua Vang, Andy Tao, V Chen Tao, Sua Yang, Sang Tao, Yong Yi Ya, Yang Xiong, Dao Yang. And Cher Yang. Congratulations. Johnson High School. Micey Yang. Christina Yang. My Lord, Sha Xiong, Dang Tao, Calvin Vu, Cha Yang Vu, Pa Xiong, Diana Yang, Thomas Tao, Nu Chi Cha, Padi Moa. Oh, Valai Yang, Dillian Moore, Pao Kong Yang, Xiong Moore, Dang Vang, Richard Yang, Eugene Vang, Alan Her, Charlie Yang, Joy Moore, Kaya Vang, Pizza Mai Tao, Padao Fang, 
and Yu Peng Yang. Next, we have Journey High School. Any graduates from Journey High School? Let's move on to Leap High School. Any Leap graduates in the house today? Okay. Open World High School. Crystal Xiong, C. Yang, next I'd like to have Washington Magnet High School, Owen Xiong, King Li Li, Pao Meng Yang, Jules Yang, Jet Lao, Angeli Moore, Ye Ku Xiong, and Boon Yang. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you to all the parents, students, and to all the teachers, counselors, Judge Adam, and to all of our board member who is here today to help the seniors celebrate their success and on to the next achievement in their life. Don't forget, we still have um, food served in the back, so do not leave without getting something to eat. Anything else, Heather? Again, congratulations, graduates. This will be all. This will conclude our program for today, just for the ceremony part, but not for the food part. So let's make sure we stay for food. Thank you again.